Master of Ceremonies is Ian Cohen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree that quad wheelchair tennis continues to roll from strength to strength. Can I please get you to give us a big Rod Laver Arena show of appreciation to our two competitors, Andy Lapthorne and Dylan Alcott. And I now invite the tournament director, Sasha Miller, to make the presentation to the chair umpire, Matthew McAleer. And now the presentation to the runner-up, and I invite the uh, President of Tennis Australia, Steve Healy, to come forward and present the plate to Great Britain's Andy Lapthorne. Um, first off, congrats, Dylan. Uh, by far the best player in the world at the moment and uh, deserved the victory. Um, thanks to all my team over in that corner, everyone that came to watch, everyone that supported. Um, I apologise for today's performance, it wasn't one of my best, but maybe the moment got to me a bit, but we'll work hard, we'll go again. Stu, Karen, thanks for this week, you're amazing. Um, thank you to the Australian Open for giving us the opportunity, quad tennis, to play on the centre court at a Grand Slam. Um, I may have lost this one, but I'll remember this match forever. Uh, we're not currently in all four Grand Slams, so hopefully this is the first step to getting into Wimbledon and uh, Roland Garros. We'd love to play there, and I hope that you all agree that one day we'll be there. Uh, Thanks, everyone, and maybe I'll see you at Roland Garros. Thanks very much, Andy, and, uh, and well done. I'll now invite our two-time US Open winner and former doubles champion here at Melbourne Park. Please put your hands together to present to Dylan Alcott the winning trophy, Pat Rafter. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your winner from Melbourne, Australia, Dylan Orcott. Thanks, Kaiser. Uh, I just want to start by thanking Andy. Mate, that was an awesome match. And to get to share that opportunity with you, the first ever wheelchair match played on a centre court at a Grand Slam ever. That was unbelievable. And, uh, Not only is Andy a great competitor, but he's also a great bloke, so I look forward to having some beers with you later on, for sure. Um, uh, to, to everybody uh, at uh, my, my team, you guys are the best team in the world. French I love you. You're the best bloke, mate, and I love sharing these moments with you. Everybody in my box uh, that's there. Uh, my family, Zaka, I love you. Mum, Reese. It was my mum's 60th birthday yesterday, so happy birthday, mum. Uh, my dad, Martin, uh, stepmom, Dana, my, my beautiful girlfriend, Kate, and just all my legendary mates. I have the best friends in the whole world, and I love you all so much. Uh, to, to all the sponsors of the tournament, uh, this is, I mean, not everyone gets a Grand Slam in their home backyard. This is where I train every single day, and it's, a, it's an honour to get to do that. So to all the sponsors, thank you. To my sponsors, uh, ANZ, Nike, uh, OCS, Gareth, I know you're over there. Thanks, mate. You're one of the best blokes going around. Uh, Oakley and Melrose Wheelchairs and Babalat, and yeah, I'm on fire. So thank you, everyone, for the continuous support. Also, CPA Group and Rolex, who I hang out with this week, you guys were great as well. And um, I just want to just lastly thank um, 
you know, Tennis Australia. Craig, I can see a smile on your face, and I've been asking for this ever since, you know, I won the Nuka medal. Can we play our final on Rod Laver Arena? And to everybody at Tennis Australia, you are breaking glass ceilings with me. We're changing perceptions of disability together. And if you look at this crowd, this is the... Uh, You, uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't play this match on court seven because you'd be about 4,000 seats short because this crowd is unbelievable and I cannot thank you guys for doing that. And, and as Lapo said, you know, we're not just yet in Roland Garros and, and Wimbledon because the standard of our tennis back in the day wasn't high enough, but you can't tell me that that wasn't high enough. And, and you know what, we'll, we'll do everything in our power to train as hard as we can to keep putting on shows every time we go out on the court. So everybody, thank you so much. And, um, Oh, sorry. One more thing. I still, at my family house, have a poster of Pat Rafter on my wall. And I'm 26 years old. So that was very cool getting presented by you, Pat. And I, uh, I, wrote, I, wrote a, uh, I wrote a Facebook status saying that if everyone came down, I'd shout you all beers. So I guess the beers are on me. Thank you, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking forward to our women's final tonight, but today is all about these two gentlemen. So well done to Andy, well done to Dylan. You better make sure that they're Coopers, Dylan. We look forward to a couple of beers. And please thank our dignitaries as well. And gentlemen, Andy, if I can get you to uh, roll forward, we'll get some photos up here. So, and I'll get our dignitaries to so come forward as well. So the presentation complete here. Take a photo six with two, our, uh, six two for and Dylan our runner up from uh, this year's Australian Open quad Making history today. Great to have it on Rod Laver Arena. Please give them all once and, again uh, a big collective round of applause. Well, he's the number one player in the world by some margin, Dylan Alcott. And it sounds like he's going to have a busy night, Josh. Oh, he, he looks thirsty and it's well deserved. Hot <laughs> day here. But what a character. And the sport, just so lucky to have Dylan driving it. That's awesome.